Good morning. I wanted to go back to the gentleman that was talking about health and being general, you mentioned. And I wanted to do it in a different frame of just abundance, abundance of good health, abundance of prosperity, abundance of love, abundance of everything. And the reason I say this is it helps everyone, but I just want the clarity to understand how to go about and being general in that sort of way. Well, here's the rule of thumb. This is what we're offering. Anytime you know for sure that your frame of mind about a subject is not where you want it to be. In other words, when you know that you're more negatively oriented right now about this than positively oriented, that's really the time to be as general about it as you can. When you know that you're positive about it, that's the time to be as specific as you can because general slows the momentum down and specific speeds the momentum up. Does that make sense? Yes. So continue with what you're reaching for. I'm reaching for the words to say to become general about abundance in general. It doesn't need to be abundant of anything in particular, but just good health and well being. In order to prime this pump a little bit, let's take the flip side of it. Let's think in terms of shortage consciousness. So, shortage consciousness goes like this. Let's take the abundance subject first. People who have shortage consciousness relative to abundance have this flawed premise. They think that there's a finite pile of resources that are somehow being divided among you. And usually they think unfairly divided among you. They don't understand that the resources are exponentially expanding because of desire. They don't understand that resources are about thoughts that have turned to resources. Think about your economy today and how no stuff's being trucked in. In other words, it's not being piped in from other planets. It's becoming resources as thoughts and ideas are turning to those resources. You are agreeing with that? So shortage consciousness about money is about, lack consciousness about money is about a misunderstanding of how there's a never ending flow of all of it. And so when you feel the absurdity of that, it can make you feel more optimistic about it. But then you've got to put yourself in sync with the optimism that you found, which means you have to find ways of feeling good about that. And it is simply the process of speaking it and see how it feels and speaking it and see how it feels. So let's say that the subject that you are working on is the subject of feeling more financially prosperous. And let's say that the current reality that you are living doesn't really support that to the degree that you would like to, that you feel limitations relative to your financial situation. Mm -hmm. And so if you are looking precisely at how much money you have, what your asset to liability relationship is, if you're looking at your income increase, in other words, if you are looking at reality and coming up with answers that you don't want to come up with, then those specific thoughts are holding you in a place you don't want to be and even taking you further into a place that you don't want to be. So you know that's not the right approach. So by getting general about it, we mean statements like this, kind of an uncondition of it. The bank and the money in it is a condition. The way you feel is an uncondition. Negative or positive is an uncondition. Focusing on something that is finite is more of a condition. Humans have been talking about unconditional love for a long time, not realizing what it means. And we're talking about unconditional love, unconditional alignment, unconditional clarity, unconditional prosperity. We're talking about taking the reality that has you all balled up and in a disallowing mode out of the equation, which once you stop blocking the flow, the flow will come. Once you stop holding the cork under the water, the cork will float again. And so general statements such as, I like the subject of economics. I like the subject of economics. I like the idea of in and out. I like dollars flowing to me and through me to someone else. I like the flow of dollars. 
I like knowing that there is no waste that I can't waste money because when I spend it someone feeds their kids I like knowing that I don't waste money because when I spend it it's economics that someone else benefits from I like dollars flowing through me I like them flowing in and I like them flowing out just like breathing I can feel the well-being of that now were we general enough with those statements that it didn't bump up against anything that bothered you yes I like the idea of prosperity I like the feeling of prosperity I like excellence I like what money can do I like when economics are focused in a particular area I like the renewal of a city I like the renewal of a neighborhood I like the refurbishing of my own basement I like the renewal of my own transportation I like renewal I like resourcing I like flowing I like abundance I like understanding the never-endedness of abundance so these are really general statements that you're not tripping over in any way because we didn't say anything that is problematic to you you do like abundance I like knowing that there is no waste now this is an important one for you to rest on just for a moment I like knowing that when I spend money I'm contributing in a positive way I like money flowing through me I like the balance of money flowing through me in and out in and out not out 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 in out 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 in in and out in and out in and out in and out not even in 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 out that doesn't feel good either does it not in 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 can I can I can I can please 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 can I can I can I can I please 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 no in and out in and out because more you understand the in and outness of it the more you understand that in the same way that the idea will flow to you there's no shortage of ideas there's just receptive mode and not receptive mode so if you're not in the receptive mode then you're saying no ideas here we say yes they're all around they're being transmitted to you you're just not receiving them because you're not in the receptive mode you say well give me an idea and I'll be in the receptive mode get in the receptive mode and then the idea will flow just like well give me the money and then I'll feel prosperous feel prosperous and then the money will flow you've got to find the mindset you've got to find the vibrational stance you've got to find the emotional stance in order to allow it to flow and you can tell when you do so whether it's clarity shortage or money shortage doesn't matter what the shortage is in every case the shortage is caused by you and don't be hard on yourself by the beliefs you've picked up along your physical trail well it's logical that if you're in an environment where people are worried about money where they're telling you that you're wasteful where they're conveying to you that if you utilize that resource or whatever it is that you are squandering it or wasting it because humans are accustomed to looking at things in a finite way and yet it's so interesting to watch your weather patterns and the way you create your floods and droughts because the water is proportionate to your desires and needs but it flows sporadically because of your blocking it off and not allowing it to and the abundance of dollars and the abundance of clarity the abundance of ideas are the same it's an individual thing much more than you know but you don't see yourselves as individual because you are so aware as you are looking out into the population of your world of what others are doing we're just asking you to try a little bit to think thoughts that feel better to you when you think them and watch what happens to the prosperity that you begin to allow into your own experience there will always be those who have practiced shortage consciousness long enough that they are sure that you are their problem <laughs> but you are not and as long as you let them think that you are their problem they will not find a solution because you are not their problem so the words that you say about abundance in all those categories will help putting a general feel on it well use your own logic about it also in other words this is really self-talk this is really self-convincing this is really talking yourself into your own blessings right. <laughs> that's the thing that is so interesting to us is that the wherewithal for everything that you want is right there for you for the taking just like ripe fruit on a tree right there for you but 
sometimes as individuals or as mass consciousness you get fixated on something that blocks you off from it and then you demand that it is not there that would be like saying to your dog who clearly can hear something you can't hear stop it you're faking that I know for sure you can't hear that because I can't so stop it and every time he acts like he's hearing something you just slap him again <laughs> after a while he'll stop letting you know he hears he'll hear but he won't let you know <laughs> same with his ability to smell he can smell stuff you can't smell stuff you don't want to smell sometimes <laughs> he can but you don't deny that he can smell you say you have a different smelling receptive mode than I do and what we're wanting to say to you all in a loving in a obnoxious way we want you to get into more of the receptive mode and allow yourself to be the receiver of so much of the abundance that is there for you whether it's physical well-being or financial well-being or intellectual well-being just being in the right place at the right time you didn't come to solve problems you came to experience the exhilaration of flowing toward what you want and so these conversations are not about digging you out of a hole these conversations are about you getting to be all that you came here to be because that life-giving exhilarating feeling of pure desire that's not held back by beliefs that are hindering it is the most delicious state of being in the world and you see it in your little children and yet unlike the dog you never say no that's wrong you can't smell that and yet you do say that to your children that optimism is ill-placed you say to them sometimes you do you can't make a living doing that go get a real job you need to go to college and you need to find out what the needs are in this world not what the wants are you don't get to do what you want to do you have to figure out what the needs are and you need to become educated so that you can feel needs I know life sucks but it's hard <laughs> that's sort of the adult to children perspective and if they're happy especially if they're loud when they're happy you say settle down settle down settle down you want them to settle down face reality and they say no I wasn't born to face reality there's so much that I can see that you can't see dear dead mother and daddy you can't see it anymore because you've stopped allowing yourselves to believe but I'm little and I'm young and I still believe and we want you to return to those who believe and you can do it oh here it is you got to figure out how to get there around your path of resistance that's why we call it the path of least resistance it really would be better if we called it the path of most allowance but most humans can hear the path of least resistance more so consider this your inner being knows right where you are right here right now on all subjects and where you want to be right here right now on all subjects and knows how to get you from there to there from where you are to where you want to be knows where all the resistance pieces in your trail are and is calling you over and around and under and through all of them knows how to get you there and so your inner being isn't condemning you for putting resistance on your trail your inner being just accepts that that's a sort of natural thing but it's still guiding you around it the other day Esther was looking for something happens from time to time because she's spread out in a lot of different places and so she could not find it it was a piece of paper she sort of kind of remembered where she last saw it and she knew which logical pile it should be in and which suitcase or box it was likely in as she had transported it from one place to another but she could not find it and she needed it and she needed it now so she decided just forget about it because she had worked herself into a sort of frenzy to the point that she was saying Esther she was scolding herself you could do better than this you have the ability to be more organized than this she was really giving herself a lot of grief and then she got an idea to just go have lunch so she had lunch and sort of forgot about it and as soon as she got back to the house she thought of something else she needed and she knew right where it was and when she went to get this other thing that she needed there was the other thing that she was looking for right there with it so her inner being guided her through the path of least resistance through the path of her lesser resistance she was not resistant about that other thing and so her inner being could easily guide her to that you see what we're getting at